Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host Chris for CDB and today we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to use the King C Gillette razor which you can find in Walgreens. Now I was actually traveling and stopped in a, a Walgreens and grabbed this and I'll talk a little bit about why I think it's important for these sort of razors to exist. Just my opinion. We're going to be using the Sneaky Pete. This is Spartacus. And this is a beautiful uh, Creed Aventus type uh, scent. One of the scents I have to have, so I did travel with it. Still uh, coming to you from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. By the way, the Travel Bowl, the Timeless, or excuse me, not Timeless, Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, which is really excellent for travel because it's both small and it's durable. And we're using a Razor Rock 400 again. So let's go ahead and unbox the razor. I have uh, opened the box, but I never took it out. And uh, in we have some King C Gillette blades. Let's look and see what sort of blades they're actually giving us here. I uh, can't recall whether they were Gillette Platinum or actually what sort of blades they were. So let's see what we have here. Uh, just says King Gillette. Some glue bumps on the back, you can see there, but we'll set that aside and uh, get out our razor. I must tell you, the lighting here is terrific. You can really see, we like, have a little under 24 hours of growth there, but you can see when I'm not directly facing that it grows all the way up into here, but you can see that you can see the growth, whereas when I'm at home, you can't really see it at all due to the lighting. Okay, so the razor itself, the handle, a little long for my taste, but quite heavy. It is quite a heavy uh, handle, I must say. Long and heavy. I think the handle's made in China, if memory serves. And I believe the head is made in Germany. Ken Serfs uh, actually verified that with Gillette. And so we'll load it up here today. It's a good looking blade, like it's clean. I like the, the uh, design of the blade in terms of the King Gillette logo on it and all. I kind of like that. And so what we're expecting today is this to be sort of like a Mula, uh, Mula uh, R89 or something like that shade, which will be just fine. I've had this for several days, but I've been using the straight, so I figured we're shaving a little bit early today. We'll hit it with this DE again, a little under 24 hours growth, but you can see it's there. I wish my, my, uh, my lighting at home was uh, this good. It's really good. I mean, relative to my lighting at home, at least. The weather here is still crap. Uh, I did take a, went out this morning, walked on the beach for about an hour. Still pretty doggone cold when, when it's uh, 60 degrees and you have a really strong wind that will really come off feeling quite chilly. It's not the, really the type of weather that you know, you want to sit and just have that wind rolling over you. And then you got that mist from the water. Uh, it feels quite cold um, relative to, say, an 80 degree day where you have the breeze and then it feels like 75 Fahrenheit, which is very, really, really pleasant. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We're trying to make the best of it and enjoy it. The Sneaky Pete, Ariana and Evans Spartacus, again, Wonderful Creed Aventus type scent. The scent strength on this to me is uh, about a six. The first time I used it, I thought it was, you know, around medium. I think it's a little over that. Really nice. And this is one of my, you know, favorite scents, as you know. And this sink won't hold any water, so I'm gonna have to rinse by using the faucet, so I hope you don't mind. And yes, that, that feels like a, uh, just a regular R89. Uh, head, uh, which is not bad. The reason I think these razors are a plus for us, I know a lot of people are like, I can't believe there's so many people that just can't wait to give a multi-billion dollar business their money, Gillette they're talking about. For me, it's not that. For me, it's the fact that there is a Gillette branded DE razor and Walgreens where, you know, Walgreens, let's remember to use our left hand here. Walgreens are a very big 
pharmaceutical chain here in the United States. I don't know if they exist outside the United States, so forgive me. Our friends in uh, Europe, I just don't know if they exist. But anyway, the reason why I think this is important is because it's got the Gillette brand. It's not Van, Van der Hagen or something that a regular person who doesn't know about wet shaving might perceive to be an off-brand. So you have these Gillette branded safety razors sitting on the shelves at Walgreens. And some folks just might pick them up that have never used a safety razor before just because it's got that Gillette brand. And I felt the same way about the, the what was it called? Was it called the Heritage razor? I can't remember. The one they sold on Amazon. I thought that was a very good move to, you know, it's, it's positive for us. And I understand if you don't like Gillette, and I understand if you don't like the fact that they're, you know, just doing another sort of retread razor. But the fact that they're putting it in Walgreens and some, some folks who might not ordinarily pick up a safety razor might say, hey, that's Gillette. Let's give it a go. And then the next thing you know, they've discovered our artisans and better razors. And, you know, so that's good for us. Maybe they go to YouTube to figure out how to use it. So that's good for us who are content creators. So think about it a little more uh, in depth than what it can mean versus I'm not giving my money to Gillette. Think about what it can mean. Right, so we know this is not a an artisan razor, but might it put someone on the path to artisan soaps and razors? It might. And so from my perspective, I think this is a good development some people think they're sort of putting their just tiptoeing in to see what kind of market there is for traditional uh, wear shaving wear if that's the case it's good too so i would encourage folks to you know if you want to try one try it uh, i'm not asking you to buy anything i never do but i bought it because one i wanted to try it and two i think it's a positive development and also i like options and so even though this razor is never going to be a favorite of mine, I'll probably give it away or pass it around or something. But I like the fact that it's right there in Walgreens, which is, you know, maybe the biggest pharmaceutical chain in the United States because they bought out Rite Aid, which was another big pharmaceutical chain. So to me, it's a positive development and it can only help. It's not going to hurt. So don't look at it as, you know, giving Gillette your money. Think of it as here's a traditional product on the shelves of Walgreens and some people who might not want to take a flyer on, say, Vanderhagen or some off-brand, they may very well see Gillette go, ooh, because the packaging, it sort of catches your eye, I think. You know, it just kind of looks cool. And that's a lot, but I guarantee you this... This razor, by virtue of being in Walgreens, is going to bring some people to, to traditional shaving. And next thing you know, they're going to be using Spartacus. They're going to be using a Captain's Choice bowl. That's why it's positive. Think of it that way. Think, especially if you're a content creator or an artisan, think of long-term growth. Don't think about, this is Gillette, multi-billion dollar. I don't like Gillette, blah, 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 blah. Think about what it can mean for us down the road. Because we always need new people coming in. Fresh blood means new content. It means new viewers. It means spending, uh, spending for the artisans that we all know and love. And I think that is terrific. Of course, that is just my opinion. I'm getting my hands. I was trying to stretch there and I was stretching on the ladder. But anyway. Think of what it can mean over the long term. And for me, this is positive. The razor is just, you know, it's garden variety. It is nothing to write home about. If you like a long, heavy handle, you might like it. But if you've used a Mula, Mula R41 or some other offering similar, the head, you know, it's going to feel like that. So it is, it is certainly not a revolutionary thing, but a stretch. But... What it is, is a step in the right direction, in my view. Um, this handle for me should be 
you know, about an inch and a half shorter. It's, it's very, very heavy. I don't know why they opted for that. Um, I don't know if they're just because people with carts tend to use longer handles that, you know, they're sort of going after that. I'm not sure, but sure is a long handle. And what I might do with this razor is pass it around to some of the content creators who haven't had a chance to use it. Cause you know, it won't be a keeper for me. I just got it to try out and, and just say, thank you, Gillette. I hope it will be more people to our side of the house. And even though that might not be their intention, I promise you some people are going to find this razor. And next thing you know, they're going to find our videos and they're going to find these artisan soaps and it'll be good for us. Growth is always good. I don't care what type of hobbyist you are. The more people involved, the better. And so for me, this is a good development. So I'm trying to use this left hand again, trying to be mindful of it and stay cognizant of it, I should say, and, and try to use it to develop more dexterity for straight razor shaving. These videos take, for, take forever to upload here. The download speed here is pretty good. But the upload is horrendous. It takes like between 16 and 20 hours to upload a video. So it is, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It is probably around 8 on Tuesday morning. And by the time you see it, so I'll, I'll uh, after I do this video, I'll shower, do a quick edit, meaning, edit meaning I'm just taking any, uh, like when I rinse or something. Um, put the splash intro screen in there. Very, very light on editing. And I'll start it uploading. So it'll be started uploading by 9. And it will not finish in 16 to 20 hours probably. So we'll see. Of course there are a lot of people in this house using it too. There's like 15 or more people. Multiple kids all streaming. You know. But typically that's not really uploading. It's the upload speed that's uh, that's really slow. The downloading is just fine, generally. It's no big deal though. It's not like I have to have this video up quickly. I've got a lot of videos already I had already made that I still need to air. But uh, since it, the weather's been bad, I've had plenty of time to to make videos too. So um, hopefully the weather will improve. It's supposed to start warming up tomorrow, which is Wednesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday left, leaving on Saturday. But then the possibility of rain is also increasing. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's going to warm up but rain. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's been raining at home. Uh, actually, the weather at home has changed for the better. It had been raining. And now it's like today is 86. Yesterday was 87. It's just quite warm, clear. When we were home, it was raining. So wherever I go, it seems like it's either going to be cold or rain this year. So anyway, forget enough of the lathering there. Let's get on with our third and final pass. Again, the razor is nothing to write home about. Um, if you are a, if you're looking for a razor that's something really, really unique and, uh, you're looking to, oh, I got to try that Gillette razor. It's new and it's going to bring something different to the table. It will not. I'll just be honest. But if you want to buy it because you, you feel that doing so has a chance for Gillette to put more of these on the shelves and attract more people, then go right ahead. I would say no reason to buy it based on the fact that it's something new. But you can absolutely buy it if you just want to see them do more of this. Um, totally up to you. And if you want to give it away to a new person or, you know, just generally uh, help, help, you know, and get, give people a chance. Maybe they don't have a Walgreens and they don't have a chance to, to use one. If you want to do that, that's cool. But I would say don't poo-poo it. You know, the razor is nothing special. I'm not poo-pooing it. I'm just saying I bought it. And I will pass it on 
you know, to other shavers. Um, probably other content creators, just because not everybody's had a chance to use this. And so it'll be good for them, you know, to make videos with this and give their thoughts. Mild razor, by the way, which is exactly what you expect from a R89, DE89 type head. Super, super weighty handle. Um, the handle is actually ridiculously heavy for the head. Um, it is not well balanced, in my opinion, when it comes to that. Yeah. Uh, it feels a little cumbersome to me. So the razor itself, honestly, it's nothing to write home about. Um, switching over to my right here just to get a little touching up done. Nothing to write home about. Nothing really, you're not seeing anything new. But again, the thing here to me is it's all about growth and it's all about these being on the shelves, highly available, and maybe, just maybe, some new person might come along and check one of these out. And that will be terrific. All right. As you can see, they're the A&E Spartacus. Plenty of residual slickness. I'm going to stop there as far as the video goes and try to keep it a little bit short so it won't take 40 days and 40 nights to upload. As you can see there, it's hard to get some of those areas, but I can go over it and, and get them terrific residual slickness here, as you can see. Anyway, the Gillette, the King C Gillette uh, razor. For me, it's a positive development. Is the razor anything special? No. The blade actually felt quite good, so I'd say these... Uh, King C Gillette blades, nothing wrong with those at all. Felt perfectly smooth. The razor, handle, way too heavy, not very good design. The head, it's that DE89 or R, Mula R89 type design we're used to. So you're going to get a mild shave. It'll, it's a perfectly decent shaver. That, ha that handle is absurd. <laughs> it's absurdly heavy. I, I think they should have made them both in Germany. I think they said that the handle was made in China. I don't know why they did that other than maybe cost. And it's not inexpensive. It was 30 some bucks. Um, you'd probably be better served if you're really looking for something to shave with daily to get a, um, a DE89 or a R89 if you want that type of razor. But this one I see again, positive development. So we use the A&E by Sneaky Pete. Ariana and Evans Spartacus, really, really nice. Razor Rock 400, and of course, our Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. I'm gonna end it there. We'll take a shower. We'll throw on some fine platinum, which will not last, by the way. I say that every time I use it now. It's very disappointing, but it's a great scent. I wanna thank each and every one of you uh, for joining me. Until next time, I will remind you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.